try to get through this video uh, without like, getting a phone call, I left my camera at home. But what we're looking at is a pressure test on the system. Uh, we started off at 62.5 or 62.7 on the high side or on the low side, 62.1 on the high side or 62.5. I'm sorry, and you see it's dropped down, and you see it's it's not gone up. It's all the way down to 62.2. And eventually that'll be 62.1 it'll stay there and it'll eventually go down what I did was I took the um, sorry this thing is kind of shaky because I left my camera at home using my iPhone what I did was I took and I closed the liquid side and I closed the suction side valve off and I pumped an equal amount of Freon into both sides and uh, so I've got my low side on my unit and I've got my high side on the um, line set side so either the leak is going to be in the uh, line set or it's going to be in the coil and I'm going for the coil what happened is I put a compressor in this thing in November I believe and um, he uh, saw me at a store actually and said hey that uh, main floor unit's not working again so I came out and looked at it, and sure enough, it was out completely out of Freon. I wouldn't be using nitrogen if it wasn't out of Freon. Um, I, of course, use my leak detector. But now that I know where the Freon leak is, it's on this side. It's on the valve side, the coil side of the unit. So, um, so now what I'm going to do is put a trace gas of uh, R22 in there. <clears throat> put some tracer in there instead of filling it up and then get my leak detector out go to the indoor coil and look for the leak um, but I th there was no way <clears throat> I was going to cut all this stuff off let it set for 24 hours and and um, go through all that just to find this because it is a heat pump so I was fortunate enough to um, be able to close everything off and then use one hose for my condenser for my outdoor unit and one hose for my uh, line set coil um, this uh, um, line set goes from this unit goes around down on the ground up through the hole into the um, laundry room where the unit is so I'm not worried about it so we're still at 62.7 on the uh, condenser side or the heat pump side and 62.1 on the line set coil side so I guess another thing about this video if you do not have a set of t digital gauges you really really need to get a set because you can see this in real time that my uh, my uh, pressure is dropping by the tenths if you had a set of digital or analog gauges um, you wouldn't be able to see it because it would still be setting on 62 and you'd be like oh there's no leak out here so about every 10 minutes this one will fall so I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes and see where it goes but like I said I really truly believe that it's in the coil but it it could be a chance that it's in the caps uh, the main valve caps or the shredder caps and like I said I'll use some nylog on those and see if um, see if it leaks by there but I don't really see any like oil because this thing was completely out of Freon in, uh, since November so there's a pretty good sized leak somewhere I didn't see one in the outdoor coil but of course uh, the pressure on the gauges isn't showing me uh, that the outdoor unit is leaking so sometimes you do have to isolate them like this but there's a much easier way than cutting it loose brazing everything up you just get a set of digital gauges and you can actually watch now look it's it's not going up to 62.2 anymore it's staying at 61.1 and now to go to 62.0 here in just a few minutes so that does tell me the leak is on the line set coil side which is a 99% chance 99.9% .9 chance is in the indoor coil um, so like I said I'm going to give it about 15 more minutes and then I will go put some
trace gas of R22 and um, um, uh, check for a leak and then if I find one in there I'll let you know or well, I'll let you know where the leak's at alright I told y'all wrong while I go it is 61.8 it's down to 61.8 and the other one is 62.8 so I actually <clears throat> told you wrong I actually hooked up the high side to the to the outdoor unit and the low side up to the coil so it's not in the lines that coil is actually in the outdoor unit so I got some bubbles out and um, didn't realize it before I sprayed the bubbles but down there at the bottom where I'm where all the leaves are it's really really dark and that's not just from where I just sprayed the bubbles but um, the reversing valve I just noticed had been changed before because of the coupling so <clears throat> uh, there's a bunch of oil down there in those leaves so I have a feeling now I've checked my joints where I braze the compressor in but I have a feeling that under that reversing valve um, is where the leak is so <laughs> I'm going to be forced to get my, I don't know, maybe I can crawl down in there, but uh, I may have to get some Freon to put some tracer in there and get my leak detector and search around, but I have a feeling it's coming from under the reversing valve, so, or it could be coming from under the accumulator, who knows, we'll find out in a bit though. So here we go. Uh, got my leak detector out. I've kind of so where the three lines are going. Turn that thing off. Where the three lines go right there. Um, let's get the bubbles out now. See them bubbling up right there? Well, that's where the leak is. So, uh, there are times where you do have to isolate. This was one of those times where, where I felt like I needed to since I did just change the compressor in November. Um, and it wasn't low, low then. It just it had blown terminals then. So, um, no, I'm sorry. It had a grounded compressor then. So, that's what the story is. It's got a leak right there. So I'm going to bring him down here and show him. Going for the coil. What happened is I put a compressor in this thing in November, I believe. And um, he uh, saw me at a store actually and said, hey, that. Uh, main floor unit's not working again, so I came out and looked at it, and sure enough, it was out completely out of Freon. I wouldn't be using nitrogen if it wasn't out of Freon. Um, I'd, of course, use my leak detector. But now that I know where the Freon leak is, it's on this side, it's on the valve side, the coil side of the unit. So, um, so now what I'm going to do is put a trace gas of, uh, R22 in there, <clears throat> put some tracer in there instead of filling it up, and then get my leak detector out, go to the indoor coil, and look for the leak. Um, but I, th there was no way <clears throat> I was going to cut all this stuff off, let it set for 24 hours, and and um, go through all that just to find this because it is a heat pump. So I was fortunate enough to um, be able to close everything off and then use one hose for my condenser or my outdoor unit and one hose for my uh, line set coil um, this uh, um, line set goes from so there's a pretty good size leak somewhere I didn't see one in the outdoor coil but of course uh, the pressure on the gauges isn't showing me uh, that the outdoor unit is leaking so Sometimes you do have to isolate them like this, but there's a much easier way than cutting it loose, brazing everything up. You just get a set of digital gauges, 
and you can actually watch. Now look, it's it's not going up to 62.2 anymore. It's staying at 61.1, and now it'll go to 62.0 here in just a few minutes. So that does tell me the leak is on the line set coil side, which there's a 99% chance, 99.9% .9 chance is in the indoor coil. Um, so like I said, I'm going to give it about 15 more minutes, and then I will go put some trace gas of R22 and um, um, uh, check for a leak. And then if I find one in there, I'll let you know. Or well, I'll let you know where the leak's at. Alright, I told y'all wrong a while ago. It is 61.8. It's down to 61.8. And the other one is 62.8. So, I actually... <clears throat> Told you wrong. I actually hooked up the high side to the con to the outdoor unit and the low side up to the coil. So it's not in the line set coil. It's actually in the outdoor unit. So I got some bubbles out and um, didn't realize it before I sprayed the bubbles. But down there at the bottom where I, where all the leaves are, it's really really dark. And that's not just from where I just sprayed the bubbles, but um, the reversing valve. I just noticed had been changed before because of the coupling. So, uh, there's a bunch of oil down there in those leaves, so I have a feeling, now I've checked my joints where I braze the compressor in, but I have a feeling that under that reversing valve um, is where the leak is. So, I'm going to be forced to get my, I don't know, maybe I can crawl down in there, but uh, I may have to get some Freon and put some tracer in there and get my leak detector and search around but I have a feeling it's coming from under the reversing valve so or it could be coming from under the accumulator who knows we'll find out in a bit though so here we go uh, got my leak detector out I've kind of so where the three lines are going try to get through this video uh, without like, getting a phone call I left my camera at home but what we're looking at is a pressure test on the system uh, we started off at 62.5 or 62.7 on the high side or on the low side 62.1 on the high side or 62.5 I'm sorry and you see it's dropped down and you see it's it's not gone up it's all the way down to 62.2 and eventually that'll be 62.1 it'll stay there and it'll eventually go down what I did was I took the um, sorry this thing is kind of shaky because I left my camera at home using my iPhone what I did was I took and I closed the liquid side and I closed the suction side valve off and I pumped an equal amount of Freon into both sides and uh, so I've got my low side on my unit and I've got my high side on the um, line set side so either the leak is going to be in the uh, line set or it's going to be in the coil and I this unit goes around down on the ground up through the hole into the um, laundry room where the unit is so I'm not worried about it so we're still at 62.7 on the uh, condenser side or the heat pump side and 62.1 on the line set coil side. So I guess another thing about this video, if you do not have a set of t digital gauges, you really, really need to get a set because you can see this in real time that my... Uh, my pressure is dropping by the tenths. If you had a set of digital or analog gauges, um, you wouldn't be able to see it because it would still be setting on 62 and you'd be like, oh, there's no leak out here. So about every 10 minutes, this one will fall. So I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes and see where it goes. But like I said, I really truly believe that it's in the coil, but it, it could be a chance that it's in the caps 
uh, the main valve caps are the Schrader caps. And like I said, I'll use some nylog on those and see if um, see if it leaks by there. But I don't really see any like oil because this thing was completely out of Freon in uh, since November.